all spiddly bops and diddly boos and biddly itty titles. We all sporodactuses, dinkles and, uh, well, popty pings. How the devil are you? I hope you're well. Are you joining me here? We're back in a Scania. An R450. Oh, I've missed these trucks. And uh, we're just going to be running a short run today, just into roughing. So just mirrors as we come back out of this lane by. Uh, we're going to a place in roughing. I'm not going to take you into sight, obviously, for obvious reasons, but just a bit of a run through to Welsh countryside. What you'll see of it, I've no idea, because the sun is quite shining now, which is a, a nice thing, because trust me, all morning, the wind's still very strong, but all morning it's absolutely hammered it down, and it's been blowing a hula. But on Storm Diggity Doo, a diddly eye -di diddly on potato, whatever it's called, I think it's called Storm Debbie or something now, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, there's been a storm on today, so it's not been sexy. Just mirrors, mindful. There's traffic coming around. There's my blocker. Come on, lad. Cheers, pal. Alan Morris swagging. That's my blocker. Gives me right enough time to come out. So mirrors, signals already on. We're coming round. Yeah, you notice straight away the lack of power in this R450. Um, it's a Scania. It's an R450. I've just come off. A DAF XF530. The DAF would power on up here. The Scania takes its time. We are fully loaded. The Scania takes its time to get up there, but once it gets going, it's spot on. They are good trucks. They're so much more comfortable to drive than the DAF. The DAF always felt a little bit top heavy to me. Better on mirrors. There's another Alan Morris come behind us now, a tipper. So we're going to go up this hill, down the hill. Round the mountains, diddly on to diddly on to Taito. I'm going to drop down into Ruffin in North Wales, boy. Oh, we've got to tip this and then we're heading over to Manchester to reload for tomorrow. Might do something with you later on, but yeah, it's good to be back in Escania. I must admit, it was weird at first, just mirrors this truck's right up my arse. We are picking up speed now, just the 450 just takes its time. So just mirrors, I'm mindful, there's this one in this lay-by here with its lights on, so the engine's running, so mirrors, just mindful that it might come, want to come out. By the looks of it, it didn't just stop because its brake lights was on, no, it's completely stopped. Brake lights are off, but the lights are still on, so the lights are on, but is anyone at home? <laughs> it's like looking in the mirror. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I hope you're all well, I hope you've had a good weekend and all that. We are now on to a new chapter. Um, one or two people about who you're going driving for, what you're going doing. It doesn't matter who I'm driving for, it doesn't matter what I'm doing. It's just the videos will stay the same. We won't be doing anything out of the cab, so just mirrors here, just mindful. With this sign out for reducing our speed, just come on that retarder now, exhaust brakes and mirrors, mindful. We're going to be going left here, so we'll put a signal on. I've been to roughing 301,000 times before, no, not quite 301,000 quite a few times, mirrors, nothing coming from right, over towards white line, just mirrors as we come round, signal's still on, over towards this white line here now, so we can come round this corner nicely, we don't clip anything. So we're going to climb uphill, so it does, it does struggle uphill, this, the, the, the daft would have flew up here, however we are coming into a 40 halfway up this hill, so it's no bother. Just steady Eddie, just chugging along. We're already on cruise control so it's just pulling us up the hill. But obviously what goes up must come down. If you do live in this part of the world then you'll know this area like the back of your hand. But for those of you who don't live in Ruthin in North Wales, um, I just thought this might make an interesting little video. I do love Ruffin, it's a beautiful place, it just looks spot on. So we are struggling up here, so I'm going to drop it down a gear. This is one option on the Scania I do like, you can knock it down a gear. It was difficult to do that on the DAF. You just have to let it select its own gears, but the DAF would pull us up here no bother. So mirrors, we're coming into residential areas now. Still mindful. Mindful anything coming out this side street here. So mirrors again, trucks just coming behind us now. 
just pulling along, it's a tipper, it's obviously fully loaded as well. Again, we're going to struggle a bit coming up here, so I'm just going to drop it down one more gear, back into seventh. Should pull us up, it does level out at the top, bit of a blind summit, we level out and then we drop down at a rapid rate of knots in towards uh, Ruffy. We're still in a 40, we're only doing 21, we're fully loaded, it's pulling us up. Yeah, the comfort, the comfort is so much more comfortable to drive this for me than the DAF, but the lack of power is noticeable as soon as I got in it this morning. It was a bit strange, I mean I put all my stuff in on Saturday, but I didn't drive the thing, I just put my stuff in and started the engine and tested everything out, but you know, it was alright. But this morning when I went to reverse it on the Wux car park, I turned bloody radio up twice because the DAF has got a, I turned radio and bloody heater up twice. The DAF's got the dial on the dashboard hasn't it, whereas this has got the, the, the thingy on the stick on the stalk here on the return. And some mirrors, we're just coming up here now, we're going to level out then we're going to start dropping down. Just come off that gas and just let gravity roll us down here now. We are going to come into a 30 as well. Some mirrors. Truck's doing all the work, gravity as well. No gas, just rolling him down. Just tickling and fettling. Some mirrors. We are going to come into a 30 just around this corner here. So we'll just back him off on that exhaust brake. Just creeping up to 41. We're still in a 40. Another thing you notice straight away, especially when you're going downhill, the retarders on these things, or I like to call them the exhaust brake, I think it's the engine brake, exhaust brake, it's the official term for it is a retarder. The retarder on these things when you're going downhill is about as much use as tits on a fish. On the DAF it would hold you, it was spot on. But, apart from the lack of power, Apart from the roads, education, sanitation, drainage, what have the Romans ever done for us? Um, no, apart from the lack of power and the shit exhaust brake, I'd much rather have this Scania R450 than a DAF, I really would. So just mirrors, the truck's turned off now and what was behind us. I have been to Ruffin a thousand times before but it's a while since I've been, I, gen I genuinely thought we was coming into a 30 halfway down this hill, we were still 40. However, we're doing 40, so we're all right. I'm just going to start climbing again now out of this place, whatever it is. It must be on the way back, it drops into 30 the halfway down that hill. So there is trouble one, one coming towards us. The sun's going behind the clouds back there, which is beautiful. It's been honestly down from Cumbria. I went up to uh, I went up to South Scotland, and then all down from South Scotland through Cumbria, all down to the other side of Wigan was absolutely horrendous. As soon as you got towards Wigan, fine, still windy, you know what I mean, but no rain, but absolutely fine. But yeah, I have missed it. I have missed these trucks. I have missed the Scania. I mean, I've not driven one of these for what five and a half months. But it was just like riding a bike again in no time. So we are in open speed limit as far as I'm aware, which for us is 50 miles an hour. We're in, we're in Wales, England and Wales, 50 miles an hour on a single cat, a single track road with an open speed limit. 40 in Scotland. Some mirrors coming into what I believe will be a 30, no a 40 sorry, mirrors, one coming out here just mindful, mirrors. This is called Lillaland Ferris, a Ferraress, Lillaland Ferris, Land Ferris, oh, spit the dog. I'm not taking the piss out your accent by the way if you are from Wales, it's a beautiful country. dropping down a little bit of a hill tonight. I don't know why I'm talking Scottish, I am not 
on Scottish St Mirrors. There is a car a reasonable safe distance behind us, just rolling down here, but just creeping up to 42. Coming back into open speed limits and mirrors, just mindful that's parked up. Back on the gas, one in what looks like a lay-by down here and I can just see something, I think it's, it's either a dustbin or something with black clothing on. No, it's a dustbin. However, the indicator's just flashed. No, it is, it's somebody in black clothing. The indicator's just flashed on that, so somebody's putting a dog in boot, I think. Yeah, it's, it's somebody with black clothing. Putting a dog in boot. The indicator's flashed on that thing, so he or she must be getting in it. There is one just coming out of a junction up ahead, no either to us. However, mindful that there is a junction there. Lay by further on up ahead, one parks in it, no lights on it, but you never know, mirrors. So a big thanks for all your kind comments on the last video, you know, your kind comments on what we talked about on the last video. Yeah, we have gone on to a new chapter now. Uh, I had some very positive response off that video, some from a lot of old time drivers when I've been driving from back in day, you know, back in day! Roping and sheeting, eating twin splitters, jumpers for goalposts, polio, diphtheria, rickets, Hitler, and all that. And uh, I think I, you know, I appreciate some of the comments left by some old timers who said and agreed that that was a difficult reverse with a rear steer on it. Was difficult. I had a couple of uh, well, one one in particular was a bit of a dickhead. I fired him off. I couldn't be asked to argue with him. I just blocked him. It's the first time I've ever blocked somebody on this channel, but I just fired him off. I couldn't be bothered. I've been driving 40 years, you're an idiot. You made that look hard work. That was an easy job you made look difficult. And I will I'll give you a fucking address if you want. I'll post your own video on mirrors. There's one just coming past me. And another one coming out, a farmer or something. So I just backed it off. See, when they pull out like that, why don't they put some gas on the power? There's one passing there, but one just come out of this track here out in field. Yeah, I thought, well, if you're such an expert, I'll give you an address and place, name and address and place, you post your own video, Paul, let's see you try it in an Arctic with a race there on. So I don't think this guy was actually a driver. I think they were just the knobhead hiding behind a false profile. There was another fellow what came on and said, ah, you, you were showing off there, you are oversteering too much on purpose, you made that look difficult. Now, I, I understand that this guy was saying, you need to do small, minimum amounts of movements on the steering wheel. That's the trick to reversing an arty. Fair point, I, I'll take that. I'll take where he's coming from. I, I understand fully where he's coming from. However, that's all good and well if you're reversing into a, a bay on a car park or you're reversing round a corner in a street. You try that with a rear steer on, a minimum amount of steering, and down that place where I was, see how you get on you'd end up smashing some of smithereens and taking the wall down and doing damage so I don't listen to that advice don't get me wrong I'm no expert and every day is still a school day for me we're going to start dropping down into roughing now so just mindful because it's a tight road further down every day is still a school day I'm no expert but no matter how long I've been driving or how long I intend on driving every day will always be a school day but I I'm not blowing my own trumpet, but I have enough experience under my belt now from the work I do and the jobs I do to know what I'm doing and what I'm talking about. And trust me, I needed to do that much oversteering and work with the steering wheel to get that thing down that tight, horrible country lane and into that tight, horrible side where we went in high, high to the you go, you go in through Highton, you go past the Asda and you turn left, I can't find on the street but it's on this residential industrial, a residential housing estate they're all big fancy old middle class houses I think there's a bit of a train station near there as well and the street we was turning down is called the Orchard there's one way in and one way out and it were a bastard and I'd rather reverse in because I know that I can get back out and with respect to the lads who was on that side, there were different guys that we dealt with the, the first time we was there. They were a different crew. But with respect to them, 
they don't know how one of these operates properly. And though, although I was polite with them, I was being firm at the same time and not asking, but well, I did ask the question, but I was kind of ask, uh, telling them instead of asking that I was going to do it my way, because I'm the driver and I'm in charge. I was the, I'm the captain of the ship, you know what I mean? Anyway, there was no issues, we got in, we didn't hit anything, and job were good. So mirrors, can't see what's coming round these corners, and it does tighten in a minute. So you don't want to meet a big one from Wigan coming up the way now, because they, if they have to back off, they'll lose all momentum. So we're just mindful. However, your driving score shit down the roads like this, because as I say, the returners on these things are as much use as tits on a fish. They don't hold you back at all. Just coming into a 30 some mirrors. So you end up, your driving score goes to shite. So we've just gone down from 97 to 87. 30% on the top, 97 to 87, just coming down that hill. Mirrors does tighten here. Sharp left hander, zebras are out, some mirrors still in the 30. Just backing him right off because we've met another big one from Wigan now. We don't want to meet him on this corner, so we're just cautious, mindful. There's a van coming round, some inspiring foot in Oxford or something. So just mirrors, dust tight, just mindful of trailers and back wheels scraping on go. It's a tight one, that. Again, can't quite see what's coming round this corner, so we just back him off. Mirrors. There is one car now behind us. Titans again, zebras out. On a clear day, that's a stunning view. I mean, it still looks nice to me, personally, but... There's a lot of cloud around. Doesn't seem to be that bad a weather down here, and I'm happy with that. Some mirrors just tighten again coming round here. Coming into. Ah, now then. Yeah, Wales is now 20 mile an hour, isn't it? This will be interesting. Coming into a 20. Ah, I forgot about that. There's somebody pipping at me behind me now, because I'm doing 20 mile an hour, which is the speed limit. Cars come right up my arse and started pipping at me. I'm doing 20 mile an hour, which is the speed limit. Coming back into open speed limit, thankfully. Yeah, this car's right on my arse. Yeah, it's pipping away at me. Before. For doing, for, do, for doing the speed limit. So the mirrors does tighten again. One turning up oh, coming towards us.
there's no point blocking all that exit though because this traffic won't so mirrors lights are changing the school minibus is going to have to wait now we're going Just coming downhill, we're now into Ruffin in North Wales, boy. Oh, just mindful, we're just creeping up to 21. It's so easy done. I really don't know. I can understand here where there's a school, yeah, 20 mile an hour, that's fine. But it's so difficult to try and keep one of these things down to friggin' 20 mile an hour when you're coming downhill. However, that is now the law, so we're trying to bay it. Just mindful, just mindful of these pedestrians here now, all the way down here. Just tighten, we're going to be going right round the bend at the bottom. Just tighten again, mirrors as we're coming through. Just back him right off. in a rain again. But just mindful here, it does tighten. Just over towards this white line so we don't run up the curb with back wheels. Just tickling and fettling, just feathering him round. It's getting busy round here by the looks of it. tires over towards the curb so you're just mindful we're not catching anything so we're going to go right at this roundabout we want the one two three fourth exit run past tesco's and i'll look at somewhere to pull in and cut you loose <coughs> just take your own past tesco's and i'll say to Artie. so mirrors mindful there's nothing coming on this pedestrian crossing nothing coming from right Mirrors again as we come round, just mirrors again. Mirrors there because we don't want to clip them railings. That bell end behind us is now turning off the opposite direction. You know, whoever was in that car at the back of me, up the arse like that and brain on thought, stay there till then. Whoever was in that car at the back of me was a bit of an idiot really because all I was doing was the speed limit. But everybody's in a hurry today these days to get nowhere. All they see is a truck in front of them and it's... You know, would you want me flying on fast as out if your kids was coming out of school in one of these things? I don't think you would. But you want me to fly on when it's an inconvenience to you because you're behind me. Do you know what I mean? It's can't win, the mind boggles. Anyway, our site's just coming up here now, so I'll cut you loose here, and just to say that I've been your old mate Borothea, once again, you my friend have been beautiful. Thank you very much for watching, join me on the next one. Ta-ra!